fucking tape measure in his pants. Yeah. I'll be on chat. Have you gone live? Yeah. Okay, it's like, it's like this. I know. Just... Oh, spot a oh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to our vlog. Hey, <laughs> go. This is a story about two lifeguards from Australia's most famous beach. Hello. See ya, boys. Bondi. Consumed by life on the edge of the ocean, they knew it was time to test themselves against the great unknown. Joel Bevilacqua. I'm ready. Self-confessed city slicker. I'm scared because I could have spent a night out in the bush. He's ready to take on the great outdoors. I can't drive manual. Hey, you're gonna learn tomorrow. You're not gonna make it! Break and clutch! Break and clutch! His best mate, Jethro James, is an adventure enthusiast and willing mentor. Stay left of that photo of me and Harrison Reed at Christmas. Very important to me, Do Harrison. not go near it. Who knows everything you need to know about living off the land in the Australian outback. This is me home for the night. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Or does he? Go! Not great. I like to pretend like I know what I'm doing. These brave lads craved a new adventure. It's serious, literally snowing. Far outside their comfort zones. Let's go for me. No. To live to tell the tale, they required three things. One, a new set of survival skills. I am invisible! Come in, brother! Yeah. Movement, sound, and scent, which you got quite a bit of. Two, the little bellies to be fed. We're going to start building the beer can, burger. Today, we're going to be getting damper. With damp a couple of yep. meat pies from 7 Eleven. And three, a deep sense of trust. As the path ahead was a rough one. Yes, yeah, Get out. Okay. I'll take your cocoa pops with you. Okay. Join Joel and Jethro as they leave the comforts of Bondi and face the world head on. This is Fish Out of Water. G'day guys and welcome to the Bondi Nation YouTube channel. Uh, this is our first ever live show on the channel. I am your host, Steve Crumby. I am not a lifeguard. I'm just an avid fanatic of the Bondi boys. Um, today we're actually launching the very first episode of Series 2 of Fish Out of Water and we have Joel and Jeff here to hang out with us. We have a bunch of pretty random things we're going to be doing today, so uh, stay tuned. Kind of the boys are actually in their backyard if you haven't seen it make sure you check out by the way the first episode on bono nation the uh blindfolded trust episode where they really sort of build their relationship uh but today the boys are joining us from their backyard jeff and joel how are you fellas yeah morning steve morning steve good day bro so jeff looks like you're getting ready to go to target you, you got work up this do you in your second job steve uh, i'm a chippy you're chippy. Okay, good, good, good. I'm a chippy. And, uh, and <laughs> Joe, Joe, what's with the uh, bow tie, bro? Well, it's a premiere, Steve. I'm trying to I'm trying to launch a show here, and I've come That's... as I should. And this bloke thinks he's a, he thinks he's a tradesman. He you... thinks he's a chippy. Steve, you caught you caught me off guard. I've got a lot of quotes to do today. You look like you're ready for action, boys. 50 mil. Okay, well, let's jump into it. So, um, days. <laughs> first of all, everyone, thank you for tuning in. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button for future videos uh, so you don't miss any of these amazing live streams. Also, follow us on TikTok and Instagram and uh, Facebook on Bondi Nation. Um, so today we're going to be reacting to a few videos from Bondi, um, some comments from you guys and some random memes that we have created. We're going to be launching Fish Out of Water 2, and we're also going to be playing a little game called Fish or Fry, which we completely made up. And uh, I've already been gagging, just uh, smelling the drinks that we have available for us uh, for this challenge. So, uh, and finally, don't forget to use Super Chat so we can answer your burning questions. So buckle up your seatbelts, and let's get on with the show. <laughs> uh, also, a quick shout out to uh, Julian Crooks. Thank you for subscribing. Millie DeMillo. Lear and Wang, thank you, people. Uh, please tell your friends about our little adventure. Okay. Do they reply, Kiwi Girl? Yes, of course they reply. That was Joel and Jeff before. Anyway, they're going to come back. Right. Okay. So, fellas, so obviously, um, you know, we've been filming a second season of Fish Out of Water. So, what else is going on in your magical world? Well, I'm not doing much else except from camping, <laughs> surfing, really. 
I'm, I'm on I'm on school holidays at the moment, Steve. So I've just been oh, in daisy fields and doing cartwheels. That's lovely, lovely. And uh, Jet, your fringe, mate. It's uh, when did you get that done? Yeah, I had a bit of a blowout. Um, I, I really found myself, um, as Joel said, lying in a field of paper daisies on the north coast, and I just didn't quite fit in that little bit extra. So off she went, and now um, now I'm one of them. I think it looks look, good. Look amazing. Actually, I think we've even got a photo from your uh, happy snap somewhere here. Pretty sure we've got a photo. Oh, there we go. There's you on holidays. That's you look amazing. Holiday. That's just before. That's just yeah. before I lost. What are you holding? That's a paper daisy. That's just before I lost my oh, mind. That's an actual daisy. That's an actual daisy, and then cut my fringe. But uh, Dad wasn't happy about it. I'm, I'm into a day. Oh, I think it looks good. <laughs> I, I think you pull it, it off. It's not it. hard. It, it's sorry, It's pretty hard to pull off a fringe like that. But um, thanks. But anyway, maybe over to you, Joel. So, Joel, you said you're looking forward to school holidays. So, obviously, you get to spend some extra time with Jeff. And you also get to hang out with your bros. You've got two bros, right? I think we actually found a little family photo of you and your bros somewhere. There we go. Yeah, yeah. What's the story oh, here? Guys. That's me there. Uh, that is my sister's wedding. Do you have a sister? Yeah. Mate. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> your sister as well. Look, i tell you what. It's a She's married. Pretty interesting yeah, well, photo. Yeah. But, of you guys yeah. in the daytime, but I, I have heard that at night time you guys as a family dress up very differently. Mm. Oh, is this a, that's hot. That's actually is this not also, me. So, <laughs> you sure? Is my cousin Montana. <laughs> um, Montana's bit hot. Of a, bit of a thick, bit of a thicker <laughs> girl. Very strong. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, but this is you and your brothers, though, isn't it? Right. Yeah, that is me and my brothers. That's at my mother's 50th birthday on the Gold Coast. Um, and my brother's a very successful Iron Man. And I thought, how am I going to get attention at this party? Um, and I went with that. But if you actually look at his shorts, <laughs> he ended up getting more attention than me on the day. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. That's, what a sicko. What a sicko. What a sicko. Full ball. Yeah, yeah. So, you do look. You do look. You do look. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go to the shout out. Thank you guys for the shout out to you. Um, Abby Mariotta has a question for Jethro. Jethro, do you use hair products? And, and uh, yeah, first of all, do you use hair products? No, I don't use hair products. Like none at all. None, none at all. Yes. So how is your hair so beautiful? And what's the secret? No, no, I don't. No, I do not shampoo because if I because it's a program, right? If you shampoo your hair, then you got to get in the water naturally salt dried in the sun and then potentially do that again two or three times throughout the day and i do not have time for that i'm a busy fella there's no shampoo it smells on. so good all the time that's just daisies <coughs> and and lumber because i'm a chippy it does it, you, you do you do manage it very well um joel by the way uh najma uh a says joel if teaching doesn't work out for you you'd be a very good drag queen she says you're rocking your look uh yeah look it's always it's always on the cards always an option um i have a very powerful singing voice as well so look you never know it's pretty powery pretty powery uh and finally Paige says hey guys it's my birthday on the 11th woohoo woohoo yeah happy birthday what is it now we've gone past the 11th it's the 25th yeah, it's already or the 11th of the yeah. next month this could be 11th of any month Anyway, happy, happy birthday, birthday for that 11. Either way. Good on you. And, and one of the ones we've got from and the year Shan Chan. Shan Chan, this is a very common question she asks. First of all, what's your favourite edit? So what's your favourite video? And what is your favourite fan page? Oh, a favourite edit? What do you mean? Fuck. Oh, the, ones, the ones that have been about me coming home from Fish Out of Water. And it's like a sort of a love triangle thing going on with Jackson. Yeah, that's pretty funny actually, eh? They're, they're, they're quite funny. There's some risk. That's sort of somewhat realistic. I get upset because then they, they convince me that I'm pushing in on the love triangle. Yeah. Yeah, spot on those ones. I'm actually getting upset really now. Sense, I'm getting upset a bit now. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Okay, we're going to be moving to the next section, boys. So this is Bondi Reacts. So this is reacting to some uh, very interesting content we have on our page. So I'm sure you guys are pretty used to our quality memes, videos, and comments. Some of them are pretty thirsty, to be honest, but uh, most of them are PG, which is good. Um, 
And um, yeah, we're going to review a few of them. So thank you for making them. Make more. The more comments you make, the more things you share, the more things you create, the more things we have to talk about. Um, so let's just reflect a few on a few of those images. I'm pretty sure we have actually a video of you, Joel, in your uh, in your costume. Can we roll that one? Fun with it. Maybe like a nice glass or something. Oh. <laughs> look, I've had a few hints that I do look better as a girl than as a bloke. So. I come as Brittany. Yeah, when I looked in the mirror, I was a little bit conflicted. Like, I come off heaps better than I thought. Yes, Jethro! Yeah, wow, Jethro. He pulls it off. I'm not going to say much more, but he pulls it off. Oh, my God, look at Joel. For you guys. Joel. <laughs> <laughs> He's the arm again. What are you dressed as, Pharaoh? Pharaoh? I'm Cleopatra, the most beautiful woman in the world. Yeah, right. some respect. While the boys bring the sparkle, it's Jules who steals the show. We <laughs> dare coming dressed as That's Jethro. Yeah. 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 She looks more like me than I look like me. She's the most realistic <laughs> of all time. She starts yelling out, Bomba! Then she'll be dead. <laughs> Can you tell us a bit about this occasion? <laughs> um, what was it? It was just our end of season. We just did end, end of season. End of season film, uh, surf comp. So we all dress up and go surfing in those outfits. Yeah, you should have seen the after, wasn't you it? You did look. You look beautiful. And speaking about this sort of general trend, uh, we also found another one of you guys. It's very hard to spot the difference between you guys and the movie Grease. I think we've got an image of that Ooh, here somewhere. Yes. Look at that. Yeah. So we nearly got this is a pretty like common theme, boys. For that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really? yeah. I'm actually dressed as a guy in that one. Yeah. It's definitely a thing, me. <laughs> yeah. He looks better. He looks better as a girl than he does a boy. Genuinely, so. I'm a hot chick, eh? Yeah. Well, I think so anyway. If I don't say so myself, I'm a hot chick. You're a hot chick. I'm a hot chick. <laughs> Have you ever been out and about, like, 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 you know, out and across well, around the city? That was the woman. That was out and about. That was out. That was, that was out and about. Public. That was in a public place, and I was going around, and we we went to a pub afterwards in the city, and due to luck. Thought I was a chick, hey. Dude thought I was a chick, and I had to get Will Bigelow, who's probably the biggest guy at work. And I was like, Will, stand behind me, watch my back, hey. Like, there's sickos here that think I'm a chick. I'm not a chick. <laughs> but if I was. <laughs> uh, okay, go. <laughs> Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> so we go to the next, okay, these are all these are all uh, memes from the uh, the Bondo Nation community tab. So the next one here, um, this one's pretty hectic. Obviously, you guys have heard a lot of different horror stories from down at Bondi. Uh, this one's about a poor bloke and his family jewels. Uh, do you want to show this one? Oh, he's talker. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you guys had, uh, oh, you know, oh, it's a meme. Oh, he's dead gloves. He's penis. Oh, what? <laughs> Did he actually? Yeah, he got degloved, mate, by yeah. a dog. A dog ripped off his oh. floor. So, <laughs> what so the... Imagine your poor little tocker. Imagine your what, little what's tocker. What's the story here? What happened? Were you guys, did you oh, guys, think... were you guys there for this one? I wasn't there, but I don't know what happened. He's thrown, he's thrown the stick to a dog off the boat ramp at North Bondi, and he was in the water, and the dogs just grabbed his little tocker instead of the stick by accident, and. They oh. gloved it. He's they gloved his penis. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Not only is he they gloved yeah. his penis, he's brought <laughs> he he's brought his they gloved tocker to the tower. He's got yeah, a, he's got a shot. He's got. What would you do? What are you meant to do? I don't what know. Chuck it in the ocean, eh? Imagine like he's got. <laughs> Put it away. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty hectic. That's pretty hectic. Okay. If you guys want to see more of those memes, obviously check out the, uh, the community tab on the YouTube channel. Um, he started it. The next, we've got a bit of... a uh... mini skirt to de-glove penis. <laughs> well, it's a... a big jump, mate. It's a simple progression. If you haven't seen any of the memes, obviously go check them out. Um, and obviously, <laughs> you don't want a lot of things to get down. So anyway, let's just go to... Uh, in Fish Out of Water in the first season, a lot of crazy things happened to you guys. Um, and do you remember this moment? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I remember. <laughs> this sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> this, 
this sort I've of thing no, seems to be a common theme for you. I've got no awareness of my surrounding environment, like whatsoever. Doesn't matter where I am, if I'm on a set of stairs, if I'm in a pub, in the bush. You're vulnerable. Yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah, often that happens. Like, that's not a one off. Like, it was just like it was a camera roll. And that, like, that happens on, on suburban streets. <laughs> Does it, have, you, have you seen it happen often, Joe? Yeah, yeah, all, all the time. Like my first day at work, he tried to like jump over like a oh. pole. And he just got, like, I don't know what it's like. It's like yeah, a yeah, it's a bollard. He got stuck. He got stuck on the top and then just head face planted straight down. Face planted. It's, secu- it's on the security camera. We'll have to get that footage yeah. and put it out there because it's off tap. <laughs> Yeah. That, is, that is hectic. <laughs> um, <laughs> that is very, very hectic. I had so a towel. Why did you, you jump around with a towel on? Idiot. <laughs> we, we've also got some really random fo- uh, comments from our uh, from our fans. So thank you guys for all the random comments. One of the more bizarre ones is definitely from Becca E. Uh, I don't know how to interpret this one. What? <clears throat> Do you know what this means? I can talk you through that one if you want, Steve. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd like you to. That'd be great. So getting getting slept on, um, if someone's sleeping on something, they're failing to recognise its significance, oh. um, its quality, how good it is. So what she's <laughs> saying is Joel is so slept on, solid 10 out of 10. So 10 is um, it's a rating of how attractive yeah. someone is. And then... I have 10 out of 10 and slept off. So she's just trying to let people, she's trying to awaken people to your, <laughs> to your greatness. Oh, that makes, that makes perfect sense. Perfect sense. <laughs> Thank you for that, Joel. That was an amazing so description. Slept on. Uh, uh, okay, <laughs> moving on to the next one. We've got one from, <laughs> some, we've got one from Maybe somebody called now. Roll Fresh Thunder. <laughs> This one's for you, Jeff. We already did we that. Already done, We've we already, already done that. So I don't know where it is. It could be on maybe like our Instagram saved things. If I've it's definitely not, got it saved. If it's not, I'll add it to the little thing where you can pin Instagram stories. We, we were watching Crocs Dundee and we remade it with Troy from work. Yeah, Troy Quinlan was magnificent. Absolutely. As the, un, as the unruly bull. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's your performing. best impression of Crocodile Dundee, Jeff? Oh, you've got me on the spot. Oh, shit. Um, I should know one. Um, you do that at night, but that's a bit obvious, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not doing that. That's not enough. Too easy. Yeah. I feel like, you know what? I feel like, Steve, we should save this. Me and Joel might do a Thank remake. You, yeah, this is... Oh, we don't want to waste that. that. We might that. Do it. We'll save it. We'll do a remake later on. That's a good, that's a very good plan. Very good plan. Uh, and the next one we've got is from P. Parker. <laughs> yeah, you do too. You do. You do. <laughs> Sorry. To bring this one up. <laughs> yeah, um, I get scared in the bush. I do. I get scared. Now my fluffy toy got broken and now I sleep with a knife. <laughs> but, but, but before I slept with my big knife, I did sleep with a toy. Yeah, fluffy toy. So let's not dwell on That's it. Okay. It gave me comfort. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's good just to be out there with it and be comfortable with yourself. And that's the most beautiful thing about you is that you're very comfortable with yourself. So... Yeah. Thanks, Steve. I really appreciate the compliment. Find the work. But well, my dog ate that toy. So, too, so. Wow. That's very, very unfortunate. Um, so the next section is, now we're finally going to be releasing some of the content from Bondi Nation. That is, those of you guys who, uh, sorry, I can fish out of water. Uh, so for those of you who have been waiting. So basically, we're going to be showing you some of the little sneak peeks from season two of Fish Out of Water. Some of it the boys haven't even seen. So uh, hopefully you guys will be excited any. for your uh, no. <laughs> for the first you bits. Um, now, what I wanted to ask you guys is like, Jeff, what, what do you remember from the first day? Like, what was your experience on the last shoot for Fish Out of Water? We suffer. From the first, from the first day? Or just generally, just generally is fine. We su- we, once again, we suffer. It was it was hard. It was so hard, eh? It was it was the last night. It all culminated in the last night, and that was the longest night I've ever had in my life. Yeah, we can't say too much, but there was there was some serious moments of character building on that trip. <laughs> it's just gone a league above. Like obviously, 
people at home, you can see the production value has gone up significantly. So we would never like when we're filming our own stuff. If we got sick of it, we just stop. <laughs> we just give, we just give it up. Now there's no stopping. That's <laughs> why we never made an episode three. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> season two. All right. Well, let's, let's go relive some of that. Let, let's go relive some of those moments. Now, first of all, we're going to play a, a moment from the very first one where you guys are building trust. Because obviously, going away on an adventure together. The very first step is to build trust with each other to know that you can be there if someone's in trouble. So we're gonna roll a little piece of video footage from the Rapids. Paddle, 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 Oh, like so, cow <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, how are you feeling then? How are you feeling when terrified. that was happening? Absolutely mortified, Steve. <laughs> I never saw, for the people at home, I never saw those rapids. So, not even until I watched that footage have I seen those rapids. I honestly thought we are going down Niagara Falls drops like at least three metres high. Looking back on it, little ripple puddles. Absolute coward of a bloke. <laughs> oh, I was scared. Uh, what, what's your memory of it, John? Seeing, seeing, seeing Jeff so freaked out. You seem like you're really enjoying yourself. Oh, like, yeah, that's, I, I, I apologised beforehand last week about because I knew it was just going to be 13 minutes of my laughing. And I've been, I've been like, on the floor, people are calling me a seal in an hour. But it was just, <laughs> it was the funny, it was the funny thing ever. Like, even before we hit the rapids, it was just, it was just panicking. Just panic. And I understand. You can't see anything. But I wouldn't think, yeah, I way. wouldn't think that I would panic for something like that. But it turns out I did. Yeah. You take away a sense. But I don't trust you. No way. I'm going to have to admit. You saw the Very bottom of it. <laughs> but it came back at the end. He was there for you. He held you. He dragged you to the boat. He, 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 he was. Yeah. Anyway. I think he, that happened. I think that'll happen in post production, Steve. So, from this first one, right, you guys were focused on obviously building the trust. But then when you're out in the bush for so long, you have to eat, you have to survive. And so, I remember one of the first things you guys ate was damper and so you're cooking damper in the rain what what exactly is damper for those people who are not from australia damper is just a very basic dense bread yeah a bush bread a big big thick bush. Bush bread i think bush bread it's like a sourdough but not sour what's it yeah it's what, just it's just flour water and beer <laughs> and beer is optional and beer. We put beer i think you guys threw yeah. vegemite in this one as well is that right yeah, we're yeah, yeah really... veggie, veggie beer. Yeah, veggie beer, da, da, wa, zui. With little, little flag Beautiful. on the top. Beautiful. So, so we are gonna, we are gonna roll a little clip from this one to show the fans to get them an idea of uh, you guys cooking together. Things got pretty intense on set, from what I could see. Um, so anyway, let's roll that. What clip is this right gonna now. be? <laughs> I can't give you an answer. We don't have all day. Oh shit. <laughs> Of your relationship after this uh, after this scene was 
Yeah, it was in the green. Blazing shit went up. <laughs> yeah. That's good. That's he good. Ghosted, he ghosted me after, though. Yeah, I didn't write back for like four he, days. He ghosted you. Jeff, I right, 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 right. Jeff screamed. Jeff screamed oh, one of my calls yesterday. It's not true. It's not true. <laughs> and he gets upset about this shit. He gets he posted, upset. I no. called him. He didn't answer, and he posted an Instagram story five minutes later. Yeah, okay, so you know when you get the missed calls on your phone, and you you open your phone, the missed calls are gone. <laughs> I didn't scream, and I would never scream you. Why would I want to scream? Unbelievable. You? Tell me. You're a good looking bloke. That's pretty intense stuff. Yeah, so look, let's let's move on another scene here. After. So obviously, obviously, when you guys are out in the bush by yourselves, Jeff, you know how to drive a four-wheel drive. Joel, from what I understand, you don't even know how to drive a manual car. Is that correct? Yeah. Or do anything useful, full stop, in the bush. <laughs> Which is what you're there for, right? You are the mentor. <laughs> well, you started it before. Well, you're showing off in front of Steve. <laughs> no, Steve, I can't drive a manual. Okay, so... So for survival skills, from what I can see, you now do know how to drive because, you know, if you got to survive out there, something happens to Jeff, you got to learn how to drive. So we've got a little bit of, bit of footage here, which is basically Jeff teaching Joel how to drive a four-wheel drive. So in case of a serious scenario, Joel can get them out of a tight squeeze, which it looks like you're in a, a fair bit, to be honest. Um, yeah. So we're going to roll yeah. that uh, clip now. Tree, take it out, and if you touch my surfboard, I'll cut your bloody topper off. Don't touch it. <laughs> Once you go around the tree, go the wide. Road. We're going obstacle to obstacle. 360 degrees. Back through the rut, right? back through the rut. 360 degrees. Where am I going around? Around the tree, around that cone. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Keep going. Around the tree, which side? Which this side? tree, this broken shit. <laughs> which way, which way? Which Just way? turn right. Just turn right. Which way, which way am I going around the cone? Oh, you're not going to make it. Break and clutch. Break and clutch. <laughs> Break it, clutch! Break it, clutch! All right, it's all good. Just across. No <laughs> <laughs> feeling safe <clears throat> if in a recovery situation at all. Right. Not at all. How, 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 <laughs> how was that for you? Uh, how was he the teacher for you, John? You just saw for yourself. He doesn't really have a calming effect, does he? <laughs> And um, <laughs> attitude reflects leadership, you know. So I wasn't <laughs> feeling very calm. He's yelling at me to go. He's got. He's just go around three hundred sixty degrees, three hundred sixty degrees. Go around. Go which way? Which way? Just louder, it gets louder and louder and louder. That's what my dad does to me. And of course, I'm going to stall because I'm about to hit the river. Because he won't tell me which way to go. <laughs> I grew up look, it looks pretty intense stuff, but I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how that episode ends and seeing whether or not you learn how to or not. But we'll save that. We'll, we'll save that for when you guys finally get to watch that episode, which will come out in a few weeks. Um, just before we roll the next two, uh, we've got a question from Sophie. Hello from England. Uh, why did you decide to do Fish Out of Water and what has been your favourite moment of the journey so far? Hope you're doing well. Well, we were going out there anyway. And we were filming stuff just for us. Um, and then I think I, I originally came up with the show for Jeff. And I wasn't meant to be in it. Yeah. It true. was just meant to be Jeff. And then we were like getting stuff for it. And he's like, no, you're, you're, you're in it too. It. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Fully. You, yeah, you, you cut yourself. You, yeah. you made your show with you not in it. But I always thought you were in it. But you were just like, you were like I remember you, I was like, you're in it. And you're like, fuck. Oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Wouldn't be much. There you go. Well, that's Jeffrey. <clears throat> well, it's, it's worked out well. It's worked out very well. Now, speaking of uh, you guys, obviously <clears throat> going on adventures together. So you're going in one car, right? Which is the Troopy. Again, can you guys explain yeah. what a Troopy is to people at home? Troopy is a tr Toyota Troop carrier. It's actually an eleven-seat right. vehicle from factory but obviously the seats are gone because now it's my bedroom which joel fluctuates in a lot a lot it's an old but ambulance actually actually it's an old ambulance which is sort of creepy because who knows what's happened in it yeah pe people have died people, in people, people, have, people have died in it well we can't just jump to conclusions but potentially people have died in that car <laughs> that's pretty hectic that's, that's very hectic it's hectic yeah so, and it still says ambulance so, above the windshield you can see it in the morning 
So when you guys are on the road, I mean, it's pretty tight in the trippy. Do you guys always sleep in the trippy together? What's the sleeping arrangements? <laughs> nah, we do not sleep in the trippy together, Steve. Although, after a few cordials, sometimes <laughs> can't be bothered to set up his tent and he tries <laughs> tries to get in. <laughs> One time he tried to sleep. No, I was trying to sleep. I was trying to sleep on the front seat. I wouldn't do it. He goes, <laughs> I'll sleep in the <laughs> And so, so where, where was Joel? I'll lay in the sleeping in the truck. I want to go in the truck. Where? where so uh, on the adventure, where was Joel sleeping on the adventure? On the last trip, oh. he's got he's got a little tent. I I got myself a swag. Oh, you did too. Yeah, I've upgraded. Yeah, you you know why? You know why to get a swag? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Because Jeff Jeff dropped my I lent him my tent. And he dropped it off a cliff. I threw it. I threw it. I didn't drop it. <laughs> I launched it off a cliff, Steve. That's unbelievable. It was the shittest tent. Sorry. <laughs> but Language. I, I, obviously, <laughs> such a bad tent. Anyway, let, let that that does sound pretty terrible. But, and, and sorry for cutting off there. I thought let's just jump into a, a bit of footage here. So we found a bit of footage. Obviously, it sounds like the trip is much more comfortable than being outside, and it sounds like. Joel has tried many times to move into your troopy, more or less. So we found a bit of raw footage of Joel oh. in the moment trying to move into the troopy. Um, let's have a look at that now. And then what the heck's that? Well, they were wet, so I sort of just hung them out to dry. Oh. I, I think a little bit might have dripped on the electric. Oh, me 12 volt, mate. You can't. I told you about the 12 bloody volt. And this, mate, what's going on here? Well, I just thought if I'm going to be spending <laughs> more time here, oh, then... It only makes sense that I have a toothbrush. I'm not happy with any of this garbage. Plus, where the hell's me mum's knitted blanket? Do we really like that, though? Don't. Do we like that? Don't, don't razz me up about the blankie, oh, mate. I think you're just getting a bit old for it, that's mate, all. Get, where's the blankie? Look, don't you're not, getting too old for it. Don't hype me up, mate. Where's the blankie? <laughs> I'm getting aggressive, mate. You'll get used to it. You'll, it's a lot. I know it's a lot. Yeah, the toothbrush was a bit much. The toothbrush was a bit much. But everything else, no. Okay, they were wet anyway. Oh, here. Get out. Okay, just me. Just me. I'll stay. Get out. Okay. And take your cocoa pops with you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? <clears throat> he wasn't yeah. invited in there. He didn't sign a lease or anything. He just did no bond. It's ridiculous. That, it does look like a, like a pretty tight space, most definitely. <clears throat> um, you look pretty comfortable in there, though, Joel. I loved it in there. Yeah, yeah. It was, I could definitely, definitely get used to it. Well, the bed's actually going, Steve. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm going to the roof. We're going to make a bunk ah, bed. Good move. Much better. We're going to make Much better bed. idea. That's a great idea. I like it. I like it. Okay, we've got one other piece of footage before we roll on to our game. So, obviously, you guys have built a lot of trust. You've learned your survival skills. You know how to, you know, eat and, and whatever else. Uh, but now, obviously, from what I know of the, of the adventure, uh, you guys spend a night in the bush by yourselves. And we don't know whether or not you guys make it out alive well we know you make that alive but we don't know whether you make it to the whole night but we did find uh on joel's phone i think it was we found a bit of footage uh which i just wanted to share with the guys of your experiences um on that overnight survival experience it's 2 19 i haven't slept since i woke up at 11 30. It is so, so, so cold. <laughs> so how hard was it exactly? Uh, obviously, don't tell us what happened in the end, but uh, how hard was the experience at that time? I'm, I'm not even laughing. I actually feel sorry for that bloke in that video because I remember it so vividly. That was, that was, the, that was the toughest night of my life. It was snowing a few days before. Like it was cold, eh? It was like, what was it? It was like two degrees when we checked. And how how, how was it for you, Jeff? Shocking. It was like, you thought Joel's is so hard, eh? 
I mean, I don't want to give too much away, but we didn't have very much equipment. <laughs> guy, it, i got to say, it looks like an amazing show. It looks very funny. It looks very weird and very wonderful. Um, very excited to see it. Very excited to see your survival skills, your cooking skills, whether or not you make it through the night. Um, so, guys, if you want to watch any of these videos, every Friday on Bondi Nation, a new video is going to be released. Stay tuned for those ones. And uh, moving right along, we Sorry. have the next section. Oh, no, hang on. We've got a few Super Chat questions. Um, Shan oh, yeah, Chan yeah. says, Super Chat. How does it feel when new lifeguards get employed? Is it weird to see new peeps in the tower when you go to work? Well, <laughs> how did you feel when I rocked up? Yeah, Joel, never, Joel didn't speak to anyone for like three weeks. They called him Humphrey Bear. So weird. <laughs> It's a nerve-wracking experience, so <laughs> we sort of try to be welcoming. <laughs> no, it's good. Yeah. I think it's good. It's like, there's like, how many new lifeguards are there? There's like 10 or 8 or something, heaps. It's like your mother's yeah. new little brother. Yeah, here's a new one. And it's around. 27 years old. Yes, take this human. But here's your friend. <laughs> <laughs> and then Elise Lindgren says, how tall are you? Love from Sweden. So how... Oh, I am. Six, I'm six foot exactly. I'm a chippy, so I always oh. have measuring equipment. I saw someone comment in the, in the live chat before. I can't believe Jethro is taller than Joel. 100, he's, he's... 130 Joel is. 130. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I'm, getting... I'm six foot. Jeff would be like, what, five, three, five, four? Oh, give it a <laughs> <laughs> Five four. Dig okay. short, guys. <laughs> yeah, okay. And, and Liam Fitzpatrick says, you guys look like you work in a cinema, but I kind of like it. <laughs> Do I look like I work in a cinema? <laughs> At least gold class, Pro though. Do you reckon I'm gold class? You look like <laughs> <a> <laughs> I look like my Uncle Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, I think, yeah, Jeff Dem looks like he's cleaning the uh, cinema. And Joel is definitely no, the gold class. Cleaners, okay, cool. Heaps well. That is very good. Guys, if you've got any other questions, feel free to use Super Chat and we'll try and jump the other ones as quickly as we can. Uh, any of the fans out there. Okay, now jumping into the next one. This segment, Super Chat. This segment is called Fish or Fry. Okay, so basically, oh, this is like a version of Spill Your Guts so where we all ask each other controversial questions. And if you don't want to answer that question, you have to drink the drink that's been made for you. Okay. Now there are three different drinks and three different questions and three different humans, which means there's nine questions in total because sadly I'm involved with this. I don't really want to be because I gagged smelling the drinks earlier. Um, but I am. Um, so we've got our mate, our Bond donation mate, Critty, who's on hand. Uh, he's going to be helping the fellas out with this challenge. Thank you, Critty. You can stick your arm, head, uh, or any part of your body into the screen. So oh, everyone knows Critty. Critty, get in Critty. Show us your face. Critty, Come show here. us your face. Yes, yeah, yeah. Critty. Show your hand. Show your hand. Show your hand. Show your hand. Look, this is Critty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we love Critty. Beautiful hand. We like right Critty. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, so anyway, okay, let's let's get on with this. So, so as I read out, the boys, you know, basically, um, <laughs> how does this work here? So, just to clarify, I'm going to read out a question. You can either answer that question if you feel comfortable answering it, or if you don't feel comfortable answering it, you drink the drink. <laughs> now, to give you a bit of an idea of what the drinks are, uh, oh, drink number one know. is. Drink number one is called Fish Should Have Stayed in the Water. So this is a really beautiful beverage. Fun. It contains <laughs> it contains a jar of anchovies and a splash of soy milk. Yes. Anchovies soy milk. and soy milk oh, that's together. Shat. That's so <laughs> drink number two. Drink number two is called <laughs> Jeff's Best. Oh, there's drink number one right there. Oh yeah. All right, Ugh. that looks very, very tasty. Drink that was. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I feel sick as well. Hold on, oh, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Okay, um, I'm so scared. scared. Drink number two. It's called Jeff's Best. So this is named after man himself. This drink contains a spoonful of Vegemite, a handful of sharp Parmesan cheese, 
a splash of beer, and that's it. So it's a pretty yeah, nice like Australian like. delicacy. That sounds good. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Let's see how you go. That's why it's called Just <laughs> Best. Um, yeah. Now, the final Jesus one, um, <laughs> this is called The Loaded Loaf. Okay. Um, this is named after the white lifey boy, Joel. Um, this drink has a slice of bread, some fresh Indonesian chili sambal, some cottage cheese, and some soy milk. Wow. I can tell you what, man, when I open these, I fully gag. These are the disgusting things I've got here. Um, yeah, they I'm look a lot worse right than this. they sound. They look a lot worse than they sound. They look disgusting. Well, okay. Own, so. Actually. Uh, let's get the party started, boys. Okay. So first up, Jeff, you got to pick your drink first. Is what was which drink you have to drink if you get the question? Uh, if you don't want to answer the question, which drink do you want to choose, Jeff? Do you want to choose the fish that stayed out of the water, Jeff's best, or the loaded loaf? Can I have the loaded loaf, please? Is this the loaded loaf? And then, okay. and, then, and then a drink after. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So just to clarify, the loaded loaf um, is a pretty intense drink, actually. Probably, I'd say the most intense. Well chosen. Uh, that's a slice of bread, a splash of Indonesian chili sambal, cottage cheese, and soy milk. Okay, let's go to the first question. So I'm going to pull um, a question for Jeff out of this little bag here. It says questions for Jeff. So just, just for the record, Steve, if I don't want to answer the question, I have to drink a drink. That's correct. That's the rule. Okay. It's not like hummus. Okay. Oh. Jeff, what is the real story behind the bangs? Who cut it? Why? And what is your relationship with that person? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so clearly you don't want to add to that one. Clearly there's a bit of heat, there's a bit of heat of that one. Uh, anything you want to add to that, Joel, or we'll just, we'll just leave that? Uh, I think we should leave that. He drank, he drank the whole drink. I think that's only... I need, I need something like a... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Joel. Joel, you get a smack your drink now. Too bad. You need the... Uh... Joel, do you want? Yeah, yeah, what do you want? The anchovies. So this is the anchovies, a whole jar of anchovies and soy milk. Um, a whole jar of anchovies. Yep, that's correct. A whole jar of anchovies. That's what you've chosen. So let's get to get that drink ready for you. Now, Jeff, you need to pull out a question out of the Joel hat. Oh my God, that looks gross. So Jeff, you got to pull a question out of the Joel hat for Joel. Oh, I've actually got a Steve hat. I've got a Steve question here. I need a new hat, pretty. <laughs> oh, uh-oh. <laughs> Let's try that again. Oh, oh I don't like the anticipation. It's not perfect. I think this might be the Steve hat. I think that's the Steve hat. Um, <laughs> but more questions. This guy's gonna be a talk up, Critty. Critty's been fine. Oh god. Critty, it's all good, mate. Critty, we'll give you another chance. <laughs> they have job. You got him, you got him, you got him. You got job him. keeper. You got him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're, 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 we're still looking for the actual okay. question. So what happened was, Jethro went... Oh, yeah. So, Joel. All right, we're good here. Why haven't any of the large number of 
Tinder dates that you go on actually resulted in you having a girlfriend? Because isn't that the point? <coughs> First of all, um, it's, I don't go on Tinder. <laughs> Ooh. I go on Hinge and Bubble. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Only two. <laughs> and why they haven't ended up in me having a girlfriend. Um, I think I I think I love too hard. <laughs> and some people aren't ready for the amount of commitment that I'm ready for. Like I want to settle down. Um, but yeah, I just haven't, I haven't found a girl that wants to settle down with me yet. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. That's really beautiful, raw honesty. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Charles. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's really good. Yeah, you sound like such a cat. You, know. you sound yeah, like yeah, such I a cat. A <laughs> yeah, no, you, you, you really do sound special. Okay, so now it's my turn. <sighs> Did you write that? Yeah, write that. The other ones I didn't know. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna choose a drink myself. Um, and I'll be choosing, uh, I hate all these things. I'm gonna go again for number one, the anchovies and a splash of soy milk. Uh, I got a little spew bucket in case I uh, get all over the screen. Um, anchovies and soy milk, that's this one here. Blah. Ah. All right. Oh, you're ratty. All right, cool. So, um, pretty uh, hand Joel the questions for Steve. Uh, I don't want to do this. This isn't what I do anymore. I'm too old. You're still looking pretty good, though. Uh, oh. uh. Steve, who do you like more? Jethro or Joel? <laughs> <laughs> ah, look, I, I like you guys. He's got an answer. He's Both. definitely got an he's answer. Got one, eh? He's got my name. He thought it. He thought the name straight away and now he's thinking of an excuse. <laughs> Not answer. No, no, no. I'm just saying you guys are both equally amazing people. It's very hard to choose between you and I don't think it's fair to be asked that question. Um, and so I think it's a very difficult thing to oh, answer so I'm going to have to drink. <laughs> The, um, I don't want to, oh, fuck. I haven't done this. I'm too old for this. <laughs> Just save me, Steve, and save yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Ah! Ah! Oh, yuck. 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 Steve's gone, left the frame. We're now your host, Jeff and Joel. Sorry. Oh, look at these stars. <laughs> That's disgusting, that oh, one. Man. Okay. Wow, fully seeing stars. Okay. Next one, Jeff, you're up. Pick a drink. Oh, 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 there you go. Gross. I'm sort of interested to suss out the anchovy, so I'm going to take the anchovy because that looks absolutely disgusting. Oh, eh? well, if you were just 100%, oh, is that anchovy? Is that like fishy? That would be an issue. <laughs> <coughs> oh, shit. He's pissed. Are you taking the mickey out of that? Steve, that's disgusting, yeah, mate. That's what Steve just had. That was that gross. Is disgusting. Oh, man. Oh, it smells like off fish, eh? Okay, question. Who's who's on this one? Uh, Critty. Uh, I don't know. Who's, who's. Hang on. Where am I? Hold it away, mate. Mate. Yeah, oh. Critty hand Joel the Joel ass Jeff bag. Oh. <coughs> How'd you drink that, Steve? Oh, here we go. You won the most recent lifeguard challenge. How many minutes in front of everyone else did you start? <laughs> um. Oh, Look. Who their hero really is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to drink this drink because I'm going to tell you guys the truth. It's a handicap event. Yes, I was a few minutes in front. Well, I wasn't the first off the mark for one, but I was a few minutes in front. <laughs> How many minutes? 
and on the some adjusted, people and on the adjusted seven. on the adjusted times, <laughs> how much did I beat you by? <sighs> Three seconds, I believe. Three seconds. I am really your number seven in the lifeguard challenge. <laughs> I think you can just drink just for claiming for claiming a handicap yeah. race with a double arm raise. You should drink for that. I agree. I think you should just drink. <laughs> oh. <laughs> go for it, go for it, get it in your mouth. How about the nerve <laughs> Oh man. Oh. <laughs> no, don't point at me, you sound like a friend of sure. <laughs> oh, so gross. <laughs> that you're very tough. I could do it. Crazy. I mean, I did it, but <laughs> damn. Scared <laughs> children. Okay. Oh, next one. A chippy. Uh... I'm a chippy. <laughs> okay, Steve. Okay, this is me. Okay, so. Uh, I'll go next. Okay, Jeff, would you like to do the honours? I would love to, oh, Steve. I keep forgetting it's me. I start laughing Wait. at everyone else. Wait, what? There's me. Yeah, you're asking me a question. No, no, this is Steve Hart. Oh, oh man. Oh. Steve. Is it me? Is this for Steve it's or me. is this for Joel? Oh, well, yeah, I've got to pick my drink. So I've got to pick my drink. I'm still recovering from the last one. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Sweet. <laughs> um, Okay, I'm gonna have the chili one. Um, oh, I'm so nervous. Okay, I'll, I'll take the chili one. So that is uh, that is uh, bread, Indonesian chili sambal, cottage cheese, and soy milk. Yeah. Give it a little bit of a shake up here. Oh, I'm shaking. Disgusting, Steve. You're a disgusting, disgusting man. Oh, oh I can taste his anchovies in my mouth. <laughs> Oh, okay, go, 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 go. So, okay, keep on going. Go ask the question. Right, ask Steve, the question. In your line of work, working with the lifeguards quite closely, who has been the most difficult lifeguard to work with? <laughs> you can say me. Um, look, to be honest, all the lifeguards are very good to work with. Everyone's very friendly, but some people are very, very busy sometimes. It's hard to get a hold of them. Um, and uh, to make this easy on myself, because there's no way I'm going to drink that thing, I am going to say Jeff, because Jeff <laughs> is actually very difficult on social media, uh, on, on the social <laughs> devices. He, he never answers his WhatsApp. He's impossible to get a hold of. He's an absolute pain in the ass, to be honest. I'm a social um, What are you to do? Any screen my folio? Yeah, yeah, well, whatever. I'll do anything to not drink this. So I'm just going to say Jeff, because, you know, he, he's a lovely, <laughs> lovely <laughs> human, but he's terrible Front technology. <laughs> Rear bar, straight out of the bath, mate. Good on you, Steve. Yeah, that could. No, I appreciate it. Me too. <clears> because, um, <clears throat> oh my God. There's no way I'm going to eat that. That looks disgusting. I'm not going to eat cop that. Out. Huh? Cop out. Yeah, I'm not a cop out. I'm not a cop out. I'll, no, nah, I'm not having it. I don't cop care. Cop out. Loser. Uh, you, you ain't whatever. Loser. Yeah, exactly. Loser. I, don't, I don't have to drink it. Anyway, suck it. I'm not difficult. All right, cool. I'm not Next. Difficult. I'm not. Joel picks a drink. Uh, is there any more anchovy left? I don't even know what these questions are anymore. I want some. I'll have the. I'll have the anchovy, please. Pretty anchovies, chat, eh? Okay. Question for Joel. Question for Joel. Hmm. Can't Questions. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Oh, hang on. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so question for Joel. So, Joel, which of Jethro's friends do you like the least? Which of Jethro's friends do I like the least? This is quite serious, isn't it? But this is serious. He doesn't have many friends, so it's hard to pick. <laughs> Oh, nah, they're all really, they're all really lovely people. Yeah. They're nice. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> He's scared of them. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh my god, he's shaking. Oh. <laughs> Get away from me, you gross man. <laughs> oh. Uh. It's important. Uh. It's important to mention it's like seven thirty in the morning over here. Yeah, we haven't had any <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> that looks very enjoyable. <laughs> hey, I hope you enjoy your breakfast. <laughs> enjoy- All right. Don't do that. We got the. We've got the final round here, guys. The final round. <clears throat> I'm up first. Hopefully, Joel will be kind to me. I am going to pick the last and most random drink of them all, just because Dude. I've got to be brave and step up. It is called Jeff's Best. This is a spoonful of Vegemite, a handful of sharp parmesan, and a splash of beer. Um, this would be my selection just to represent. Um, I'm not looking forward to this at all. Um, so, uh, Critty, hand Joel the questions and Joel to pull out a question for myself. Shit. Steve. Where's the music? Cue the music. Oh, there it is. We should mention that Steve's fiance is currently working for live stream and listening right now. So look, Amelia has so many amazing traits. Um, none of them could Not be bad. <laughs> Amelia's Depends perfect. The subject, She's the mother of my soon to be born child. She's the everything oh, Steve, to me. You told, so, us like, you told us like 10 of her worst traits when we were on our last camping trip. I don't know what you're talking cool. about. Anyway. Fuck. <laughs> 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 oh, it's what? Steve, it's children. Don't swear. Don't swear. Don't swear. The host can't swear, if you, Steve. What, if you swear, what are we going to do? <laughs> don't forget that. Whatever. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Shut up now. You're next. <laughs> Shut up. Okay, what? Jeff, oh, your go. No, we don't. Uh, Jeff, know. final go. I'm going to pull a question out for Jeff. CK. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, ready, Jeff? You're right. <sighs> You're right, Champo. Jeff, what happened to the oh, what happened to uh, what happened to the wombat <laughs> on your first trip with Joel? Oh, wait, wait. Pick your drink. Pick your drink. <laughs> Pick drink. Fucking hell, mate. He can, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I want, the, I want the real gross one that I haven't had. That one. Just to clarify, the question was what happened to the wombat on your first ever trip with Joel? <laughs> That's the real question. That's the real question. Do I tell them what, about what, what happened to the what, wombat and save myself? What? What are you drinking there? What are you, you going to drink? Given, What's that one? Mate, God only knows. Given the current climate, I would what, definitely... Which, which drink was it? Yeah. And, but, but, <laughs> what drink is it? <laughs> which which one are you going gritty? Yeah, go. <laughs> So what is it? Oh, just best. Okay, that's veggie mite, parmesan cheese, and it's <laughs> and it's like this one's chat, man. This one's chat, eh? This one's so epic. Okay, let's go. I'm sorry, I'm sorry Car, Jeff. for the wombat community. Oh, what point is that? <laughs> oh, the beer and the cheese. That's like, yeah. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Oh, beer. And cheese, but not beer. Oh. You can't do that, eh? You can't do that. That's um. undrinkable. Oh, that's well done, well done. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll find out the one about some other day. Um, okay. 
The final question. <laughs> it's, for, it's for Joel. Joel, okay, Jeff, take it away. So Jeff pulls out a question out of the Joel hat. Let's get this one cranky. Uh, yes. This would be rattled. Okay. Yeah, Vegemon beer. What's this? Joel off. Yeah. Oh, wait, 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 before you read it, uh, Joel, what, what flavour do you want? I want the, I don't want that one. I want the, the, um, spicy loaf. The spicy loaf, good choice. Spicy loaf, just to clarify, is a slice of bread, a splash of Indonesian chili sambal, cottage cheese and soy milk. And the question, go for it, Jeff. What's the question? We're out of questions, Steve. Um, yeah. <laughs> huh? <laughs> let's just let's just dabble in this. Good job. Wait, wait, wait. I, I got a question. Here. I got a question here. Joel, you have five jobs. Rank your five bosses from best to worst. So Joel currently has five jobs. We're asking him to rank his existing bosses from best to worst. I can't do that because it's one job. And then, and then I can't, I can't call myself a pentagonal threat anymore. And I really can like I re can I request can I request a mixed drink? No, 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 no. no. Oh yeah, it's a great idea to finish it off. No, 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 no. Yeah. No. Yeah. no. Sit down. Yeah. Sit down. I've requested. No, why, why would you request that? The last drink. I the light, yeah, let's go, let's go, drink. put it in there. Every here request is a mixed drink. A mixed drink and shall Oh be. my god. <laughs> what did he just put in there? The chat one. The beer one? Beer cheese. He put the beer one in there. Mixed drink. Even yeah. <laughs> so, it, it, <laughs> so that is Vegemite, <laughs> Parmesan <laughs> cheese, a splash of beer, <laughs> um, and some bread, some chili, cottage cheese, and soy milk. That is a solid mix. Uh, <laughs> that looks <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> oh, look at him shaking. What are you doing? Oh! Oh! All right, guys, that was a pretty yeah. intense round. Thank you so much, Jeff and Joel. Really moving through with your very it. quick section of uh, Q&A. First of all, guys, how did you go for the uh, fish and fry? Was that a fun game? <sighs> did, you, did you enjoy that well, game, sorry, Jeff and Joel? I'll, answer, I'll be answering all further questions. <laughs> <laughs> Joel's, Joel's currently vomiting all over my house. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did, you, did, you, did you enjoy that uh, that game, Jeff? Oh, yeah, Steve. I really had a great time. There's nothing I would <laughs> rather be doing at 7 o'clock in the morning than drinking absolute concoctions of garbage and throwing up in my own oh. This is my safe space, Steve. <laughs> made it unsafe. <laughs> okay. Well, that was amazing. Okay. So, <clears throat> anyway, thank you, guys. We're going to be moving into the super chat. We've got a few questions from everyone here. Uh, we're going to answer a few questions from the fans who have been watching this whole thing and thoroughly enjoying it. Joel, you're a very brave man. Honestly, round of applause. Congratulations on shimming that beautiful monster. <laughs> um, yeah. So, um, Chris, everywhere. Li li first of all, I just want to say Lindsay and Sons of Jethro uh, looks like the Tiger King uh, with that hair. Um, I do concur. He does. he does. I've said that. Well, he tucked it on his ears. Look. Carol Bass. <laughs> Carol Bass. <laughs> Sorry. I know. Um, <laughs> also, uh, a shout out to Claire, who couldn't make the live stream. Um, Katie Aguilaf says, I don't know what happened to Claire. Uh, so, Jeff's pants go up. If, if Jeff's pants go up anymore, <laughs> it'll turn into a turtleneck. Oh. <laughs> So oh, shoot. <laughs> it's very, very close. It's quite hilarious, look? actually, Katie. Uh, it's a great look. You look amazing. Um, Thanks, Katie. Tristane, I really appreciate that, actually. 
Christine Visan, Visaya says, what's your favorite place out of all the places you've ever visited? That's a big one for Jeff. I'll might go in the meantime while he ponders. Um, favorite place ever been? Oh, Victorian high country. Mm. Victorian high country, blue rag track was pretty cool. Blue rag track was beautiful. Sick. I've got to say a gorge in the Northern Territory <clears throat> called Ruby Gap Gorge. Ick, so ick, suzzy. It was the ick, suzzy, orge, guzzy you've ever eaten, suzzy. Don't go there. It's fine. That sounds pretty intense. <clears throat> that that sounds very intense. Um, <laughs> okay, great. we have another. Uh, we, have, we actually have a request uh, from Leah Fitzpatrick. It's for Critty. Critty, she wants to see more than just a hand in the stream, if you feel Don't comfortable about it. your head, Critty. Critty... Critty, Critty, we, they, Critty. They, they, they want to see what you look like. Critty's happy to put us through absolute pain and suffering Critty. and hype. Critty, how about you show everything except for he your head? Like, he's, too handsome. He's, too, he's, too, he's very, very handsome, man. Critty is an extremely handsome man. Uh, just Maybe just a leg or a full yeah. arm, Critty. Just show a full arm. That's it. All the way, all the way to the elbow, all the way to the elbow, all the way to the elbow. <laughs> All the way to the elbow. No, no, no. Abby Purvis um, says, please say hi to me. It's my 21st on the 18th of October and I love you guys. Happy birthday. Happy Abby. bloody. 21st. Happy bloody birthday, Abby. Love your work through and through. Have fun, but stay safe. <laughs> Don't do anything we would do. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Another question. <laughs> another question. Uh, Joanne Laxa says, uh, "Will you ever invite any of the other lifeguards uh, to come camping with you?" It's been it's been discussed. It's definitely been discussed. Mm. We feel like there's a few people that we could get um some very very good content out of in terms of their ability to survive in the bush. Who would you choose? Um, look, we think, we've discussed Maxie. He likes to think of himself as a... It'd be fun to break him. True blue Aussie bloke. And he's got a Southern Cross tattoo, which would be fantastic. Yeah, that needs to get out amongst the gum trees. Yeah. He'd probably be first, first off the rank, I reckon. Oh, big Ted, big boopy Ted, the old Teddy boopy boy. He's got to fit find something to fit him. He is a big rig, <laughs> wide, childbearing hips. <laughs> well, let's see, let's see if we can get one of them along. Let's, let's have a go. Uh, guys, we're, we're going to be, the intention is, we're going to have an episode every single week until the end of the year, and come down, we're going to go shoot another one. So hopefully by then, we will uh, find another, or convince another lifeguard to come along on an adventure. Um, and Carmen VB, VDB says, if you had to choose, a use a yobbo or a larrikin? No, I'm definitely not oh, a what yobbo. A, what a wee. Definitely not a yobbo. Yeah. That's chat. <laughs> what's a, what's a, what, a larrikin? Yeah, you want to be a larrikin. Yeah, larrikin. Well, that's like that's yeah. the easiest question of all time. You pretty much said a good thing and a terrible thing. We're modern yeah. men. Do you want to explain yeah. what a yobbo and a larrikin is? Just so everyone has a, a bit more of an idea. A yobbo? A yobbo is just it's like... a very small crayfish. <laughs> Yabby. Of no size bigger than this. That's a yabby. No. <laughs> What's a yobbo? A yobbo. 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 It's like a bogan, but like a full on grungy bogan, like a yobbo. Like, yeah. yeah right. You know, it's just, I don't know exactly what it is. <laughs> a non friendly bogan. It's, nah, it's not, it's not, it's not nothing to do with how friendly you are. It's just like, it's not a good thing, you know. Be yellow. Let's just leave it at that. We're larrikins. We're larrikins. And modern, and modern men. Modern, very modern. Up to date. Excellent, excellent. And, and the very last super chat for the day, unless another one flies in. Uh, Jasper Four says, as a trainee hairdresser, Jeff's fringe is one hundred out of ten. Sick. One hundred out of ten. Yeah, wow. I really appreciate that. I mean, I didn't cut it. Who cut it? Who cut I didn't it? Cut it. Um, so I'll pass on your regards 
to those that who cut know. it. I'll pass. I'll pass on your regards. <clears throat> okay. All right. Fine. 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 <laughs> uh, all right, guys. That was <clears throat> an amazing experience. Thank you so much for sharing your lives from Jeff's backyard. Um, Fish out of water looks pretty bloody impressive. Very excited to see more of that. The Phantom looks impressive. The blue skies look amazing. Joel, you were dressed for success. You're definitely a 10 out of 10 in my eyes. Um, and uh, obviously, guys, if you want to go check out more of this, <clears throat> make sure you go check out our TikTok, uh, TikTok Bondi Nation, Instagram Bondi Nation, uh, Facebook Bondi Nation. Make sure you go check out Joel on his Insta, Joel Bevelacqua. Um, is that right, Joel? Bevelacqua. Bevelacqua means drink water in a Bevelacqua. Yeah, Bevelacqua. you go. Bevelacqua. And Jeff, you all know what Jeff's Instagram is, I'm sure. What's your actual handle, Jeff? Jeffro James Photo. <laughs> there you go, Jeffro James Shut Photo. Shut up, idiot. Random. <laughs> yeah, Jeffro James <laughs> Photo. Oh, oh give it up, Campo. <laughs> anyway, we've got a new episode every Friday, 7 a.m. Thank you for the Super Chat supporters. Thank you for everyone at home who's been watching. Thank you for anyone around the world. Please like, comment, share if you want to see more of this sort of stuff. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe, stay chill, and uh, see you on the flip side. See ya. Thank you, boys. Love your work.